U.S. President Trump is in California to tour areas devastated by the deadly wildfires. That's a live shot of Air Force One, which has just touched down. Also ahead, who gave the order? The CIA concludes Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince ordered the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. And mass demonstrations against rising fuel prices result in at least one death as much as France grinds to a halt. Hello, I'm Linda Kincaid. Welcome to CNN Newsroom. The US president has just arrived in Northern California moments ago. You can see there live pictures of the president and disembarking from Air Force One. He is going to be accompanied by uh, the governor there, Jerry Brown, and also the governor-elect to tour parts of the region that have been devastated by the deadly wildfires. The president uh, will also meet with people affected by that mass shooting in Thousand Oaks. So far, we know at least uh, 74 people have been killed in the fires. In more than 97,000 hectares have been scorched. Well, before he left D.C. Saturday morning, Mr. Trump suggested that forest management could be the culprit. I'm meeting with the governor and the new governor and governor-elect. So we have a lot of things to talk about. We will be talking about forest management. I've been saying that for a long time, and this could have been a lot different situation, but the one thing is that everybody now knows that this is what we have to be doing, and there's no question about it. It should have been done many years ago, but I think everybody's uh, on the right side. President Trump speaking earlier today. Keep in mind, we're talking about the fires that have blackened an area the size of Boston and Chicago combined. That means tens of thousands of people have had to run for their lives. And as our Nick Watt reports, many of them don't have homes to go back to anymore. I am loyal to paradise. It's like a tether. My heart is tethered to that town. I value that town and the people and everybody I knew there, everybody I helped there, they just meant so much to me. I, be, I blossomed when I moved to paradise. Right now, central and northern California has the worst air quality in the world. Smoke lingering in a 250-mile radius. Today's schools as far away as San Francisco still closed due to that danger. Classes canceled on college campuses in Sacramento and Berkeley. According to Cal Fire, firefighters have battled 500 blazes in the state in just the past 30 days alone. California's governor says this is the new abnormal. Going forward, uh, we are going to have to take a lot of steps that aren't so easy. Uh, we're going to have to uh, manage our forests better. We're going to have to build our cities more smartly. Uh, we're going to have to build shelters so that people can uh, escape when these terrible fires get out of hand. And yes, we're going to have to deal with climate change, all of that. Meanwhile, 145 evacuees and workers in shelters around Butte County are suffering from norovirus. 25 of them hospitalized as a result of the gastrointestinal bug. Health officials now working to create separate shelters for the sick. Butte County, with 10% of its homes now turned to ash, facing crisis. So we have a, a town of approximately 14,000 houses and associated commercial activity that's literally been uh, burned off the map. Exactly what sparked these fires is still under investigation up in the north of California. People are pointing the finger at the local utility company, claiming that it was faulty equipment that started the blaze here in the south. Authorities have said that the smaller hill fire was caused by human activity. Unclear if that was accidental or arson. Nick Watt, CNN, Westlake Village, California. Well, as Nick pointed out, the fires are causing a massive environmental hazard. They've created so much smoke that experts say some nearby cities are now the most polluted in the world.